Hey everyone, the mentor is here and today I'm gonna type Aubrey Plaza in Hecature. I will leave a link to the Hecature playlist. So keep in mind this is not MBTI or Socionics. It's Hecature, completely different system, apples and oranges. First, let's start to introduce our special guest of today. Quoting Wikipedia. Aubrey Christina Plaza is an American actress comedian and producer. She starred as April Ludgate on the NBC sitcom Parsk and Rex 2009-2015, played Julie Powers in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World 2010, and Scott Pilgrim Take Off 2023, and featured as the Shadow King and Lenny Basker in the FX superhero series Legion. 2017-2019. In 2022, she starred in the second season of the HBO anthology series The White Lotus, for which she received nominations for a Primetime Emmy Award and a Golden Globe Award. Time magazine named her one of the hundred most influential people in the world in 2023. Now that's the bio and by the way I need to make a correction about her main wing in the anagram because I was wrong. Yes, she is a sex, a self-pressed sex with a cis a but not a cis win 7 as I thought at first. Looking deeper at her micro expressions and so on, she doesn't display the same level of animation that you will see in a 6 wing 7. She's actually 6 wing 5. I stand corrected, but to be fair, both wings are omnipresent, so they are not nearly as important as some people seem to think. One tend to be more internalized than the other externalized. Another thing to keep in mind is that Plaza is an actress in an environment that promotes the six wing seven and the seven wing sex. Many actors are that. I also want to make clear that Aubrey Plaza has a public persona that she deploys for the loose. That public persona is an SOGT ENT, extroverted intuitive with thinking auxiliary. That's her persona. I'm typing Aubrey the person, not the public persona as actress which she portrays around. Keep that in mind. Also, as additional factor to consider, is there something that could potentially affect her processing? The answer is probably. She has arguably ADHD by digging deeper into her and uh, she has suffered something called expressive aphasia when she was 20 years old. Whilst Aubrey healed from that, she mentioned that, but I still have, there is still certain, you know, things that only I would notice that are kind of residual from, left over from that incident. Whatever this could affect her processing is unknown, but it's a possibility. So, let's go to the first step, which is her eye brain type. It doesn't display naturally the nonchalance that you see in someone that has the high intensity of versus. Trump will be an example of some of it is versus high. Trump will be the GVH. This is an example of Trump. I'm trying to look between you people don't answer, don't talk to me that way you're just a you're just a lightweight don't talk to me that way don't talk to i'm the president of the united states don't ever talk to the president that way all right i'm going to go with another question go ahead if you look at aubrey she hesitated for a split second and in the anagram she's clearly an type the six she's a counterphobic sex and her action is more moderate as a response also, she's currently triggered chiefly by self-preserver issues, so GVM. That's her brain type. 
Like what kind of curses were you saying? We oh, know. I can't say that on, really? it's on TV. Got to keep it bright and seriously. Like seriously, don't do that. Like honestly, don't do. Stop. There was so much sexual tension happening here. I don't know what you're talking about. It is obvious. Okay. I don't know where you're talking about. Kind of uh, you got anything else? Do you have anything else? This no. is ruined, and I'm um, sorry that you had to see that. Yeah. Well, I, don't know. I thought it was good. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. That was really fun. Thank you, Aubrey. Now we can move to her preferential attitude. Now, something that is common in sixes is the undifferentiated preferential attitude. And to further suggest that she has an undifferentiated preferential attitude, I will pull this clip in which Plaza was asked what's her personality type. And listen carefully to what she said. This be easy. Personality type is Aubrey Plaza. Thank you. Okay, so I recently did the, um, I believe it's the Jungian personality test. I'm an ENFG. INFG? ENFG. Something like that. Yep. Doesn't that sound like an undifferentiated preferential attitude? I do think so. Here is where actually things start to get interesting. What Plaza is clearly a filler and the neurotic version of filler. Also, she seemed to be more a sensor than an intuitive. Yeah, I'm aware that she got an event test, but if you pay attention to her, she's somewhat like a sensor, actually. Um, I, I'm always prepared in any kind of apocalypse situation, not just zombies, but I have like a whole thing, like I sleep with a dagger at, by my side. This week I do a shanking uh, drill where I, I'm asleep You're and asleep. Then I imagine like a zombie or a murderer um, or whoever is coming to get me. Right. And, and then I like have a move where I like quickly slide it under the blanket and then I just shank up. <laughs> Whoever's hovering over me about to kill me. I also like to surround myself with people with skills that could be useful. Um, that's something I always keep in mind with like friends or boyfriends or whatever. Uh, my current boyfriend, uh, when we first started dating, I gave him helicopter lessons, flying lessons for his birthday. <laughs> he never showed an interest in flying, but I just gave them to him in case like the world has gone to shit and <laughs> we need to fly away. So I was like, I need to be with someone that can operate a helicopter. I'm in charge of weapons and ammo. <laughs> and the primary sounds to be thinning. And if you are to dig deeper on Plaza, you will discover that Plaza, for example, mentioned it, talk about herself, my people would love if I smiled more if I was more approachable. Notice that she leans a bit more towards the IF than EF direction. And IF is arguably the least emotionally expressive SOGT type. IF, EF, IF, EF, IF, EF, but she's slightly more IF. Her estimated typing would be G O M U F S I above E neurotic, whereas her public persona is more of E N T. To further emphasize this, see how, for example, Aubrey Plaza got triggered when a co-worker in uh, Parks and Rex mentioned about uh, her personality in her life compared to her persona here. Yep, nailed. Hope that you enjoy this video and you find it informative. Stay tuned.